trust is still a problem for me. I don't have that trust with you that I would need. Aside it's, from what happened from Vegas, what makes you not trust me? We've had conversations in private. The bigger concern is the way that you've addressed the issue with your ex-boyfriend. Each time I asked you about it, you basically told me you didn't want to talk about it. It seems like there's something that, I don't know, is still going on. That's what you're scared about? Uh, yeah. Ryan, I had to move out of my apartment because he was stalking me. I tried to get an order of protection twice. And like, you mean like a I went to the police station. Yeah, 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 twice. And the way you've, you've withheld information like that, that was, that's what still concerns me. I'm a trustworthy person. I know, I know that trust is like a big issue with you, and I want you to kind of take a leap of faith. It would be a lot easier to take a leap of faith if all the other stuff hadn't happened. So then what do you feel that I need to do to, to help you? Call him and say that it's like, it's, it's over. Oh my god, you can call tomorrow. I don't even care. I want you to call him. I mean, I don't have my phone, but I'm just saying like... I got a phone right here. Ryan, I don't have any feelings for my ex-boyfriend. It's okay. done, it's over with. You just need to make the phone call. What I feel is real. Stephanie. And I already told you that I loved you, because I do. Make the phone call. I'm, I'm just telling you, he's nuts. Are you gonna make the phone call or not? I'm like this close to walking right away, right now, because you're avoiding this phone call. Such a red flag.